In this example, we want to find the basis for the kernel. So first of all, the transformation that we have is T, that mapping Euclidean space of dimension five to the fourth dimension, so we're reducing the dimension basically, and Tx is equal to Ax. Well, A is defined as this huge matrix down here for you. You have one, two, negative one, zero, and then you have two, one, zero, zero. Then this guy has zero, three, negative two, and zero. And then you have one, one, zero, and two. Following the note, negative one, zero, one, and eight. All right. So first of all, what is the kernel? All right. After we find the kernel, we can basically talk about the basis for the kernel. The kernel of T is the set of all vectors in R5. So here you have um, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5, such that Ax is equal to zero vector in R4, which is basically writing it as 0, 0, 0, and 0. There we go. We need to solve this system. We can form augmented matrix as well, and then makes it a little bit easier for us to do the computation. Augmented matrix. So basically copying down the whole thing again. So good practice, everybody. Don't skip steps. That's how we learn math. Zero, 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 zero. So basically, you can say that I'm multiplying the first row by negative two and adding that to the second row. So negative two R1 plus R2 gives me new R2. So a negative two, negative four, zero, negative two, two, and zero, add it to two, one, three, one, zero, zero, which is zero, negative three, three, negative one, two, and zero. So this guy becomes zero, negative three, three, negative one. And here you have a two, and here you have a zero. Basically, you're adding these two rows together so, so far you get a zero, two plus zero is two, zero negative two, and then here you get a one, you get a zero. And basically this guy is zero. So we can divide this guy by uh, negative three. And let's see, do I wanna switch this? Nope, that's fine. So here you have one, negative one, a third, negative two thirds and zero. Basically I'm multiplying this row by negative one and add it to the first row. So a negative um, two, R2 plus R1. So I have a zero, negative two, then I have a two, negative two thirds and four thirds and zero plus R1, which is one, two, zero, one, negative one and zero. This is one, zero, two. And here you have a third and here, you have a third and this one is zero, one, zero, two. You have a third, another a third, and then zero. Multiplying this guy by negative two and adding it to the third row. So here you have zero, two, negative two, one, zero, and zero, 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 a third, Four thirds and zero. A third, four thirds, and zero. So basically, what we see here, we have a zero, right? And this guy divided by two, we get one, then you get uh, four, and this guy becomes zero. Perfect. Let's see. Well, we can multiply this by negative a third and add it to the first row and second row. So zero, 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 
negative a third, negative four thirds, zero, plus the first row, one, zero, two, a third, one third, and zero. This is basically one, zero, two, zero, and here you have negative one and zero. So one, zero, two, zero, negative one and zero. So you multiply this guy again by negative a third and add it to the second row. This is zero, one, negative one, a third, negative two thirds, and zero. So you have a zero, one, negative one, zero, and here negative six divided by three, negative two, and six. This guy is zero, negative two, and zero. And finally, Multiplying this guy by negative a third and adding to the third row. Zero, 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 one third, four thirds, and zero. So basically end up with zero, zero. So luckily for us, we have a zero row. Now we can solve the system. So this guy says, hey, I have x1 plus 2x2 minus x Five equal to zero, and this guy says I have x2 minus x3 minus 2x5 is equal to zero, and this guy says x4 plus 4x5 is zero. So we are basically solving this system. So x4 is equal to negative 4x5. This guy says, hey, x2 minus x3 minus 2x5 is zero, so x2 can be written as x3 plus 2x5, and this guy can be written as x1 equals to negative 2x3 plus x5. You can introduce parameters, x3 and x5. So suppose x3 is equal to, for example, s, and x5 is equal to t. s and t are both real values, real numbers. So let's see. So x1, um, let me write it this way so we can just um, decompose this a little bit easier it becomes so my x1 is negative 2s plus t my x2 is s plus 2t my x3 is basically s my x4 is negative 4t and my x5 is t which can be decomposed as s times negative 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, plus t times 1, 2, 0, negative 4, and 0. So as you can see, we have two independent vectors. So basically, your kernel is spanned by these two vectors. This is equal to the span of negative 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 2, 0, negative 4, and 0. Just let me make sure all oh, this is 1. Please fix this. This should be 1. Okay, I forgot about that. 